cards. Uh, three cards. Come on, Chuck. Give me three. Hey, 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 hey boy, I had the baby. Look, she sent a picture. Isn't hey. that cute? Hey. Huh? Hey. Just with oh, cute little adorable. dimples. You got it upside down. Hey, hey boy, just think we're all fathers. Hey, hey, you guys, hey, you guys remember when we first found out it was going to happen? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, just my luck. I had to be in New Caledonia. Yeah, and you left me in charge of the boat. Boy, what a day that was. In a great debt of gratitude, you saved us from the Japanese in the neck of time. Oh, well, it was all in the nick of duty. <laughs> you know how it is, Monsieur Gerard. Say us la guerre. <laughs> but, <clears throat> that's French. <laughs> all right, man, let's pick up this brass. Do not minimize your efforts, mon capitaine. <laughs> it was a, a very brave thing you did. Wow. Oh, I do not know what I can ever do to thank all of you. Oh, I will think of something, honey. You know, I was... Oh, no, 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 please, gentlemen. Well, we... uh, all right, man, let's uh, get back to our station. All right, man, I'll let you go. Three boat now, sir. Good. Intelligence will want to interrogate Monsieur Gerard and his daughter right away. All right, man. Stand by to put her in the Caratuba. Let's get her ship shape. Let's, uh. Let's look sharp, man. <laughs> Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, sir. So young and, and so much responsibility. Well, I'm very impressed, Mon Capitaine. Uh, Mon Ensign. <laughs> All right, Sailor, uh, I'll take her in. Mr. Parker, you don't know how. <laughs> I uh, always make it a practice of bringing in my own boat. I, I don't trust anybody with my baby. <laughs> Mr. Parker, that's too much throttle. Look out! <laughs> Good afternoon, Captain. Uh, Look what you've done. Oh, the auto club would never believe a thing like this. Well, we have uh, plenty of witnesses on board, sir. I'm sure they'd all be. You're just standing at attention. Oh, this whole thing is my fault. I should have my head examined for letting Mikhail put you in command while he's over in New Caledonia. Oh, please, Mon Capitaine, it was my fault. Oh? Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, now, Mr. Gerard had nothing to do with it, sir. As uh, temporary commander of PT-73, I assume... Oh, shut up! Get your boat out of my Jeep. Deal with you later. Now, now, uh, Mr. Gerard, let me take your hand, my dear. I'll help you ashore. There, there, there. Watch your step. Oh, there we go. You're safe and sound now. I'm Captain Wally Binghamton. <laughs> the important thing is we've gotten you off of your plantation in your ear. Safe and sound. Yeah, very certainly kind, sound. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Captain? Yes? This is my papa, Monsieur Gérard. Your papa? Monsieur oh, Gérard. Yes, I have him, my daughter. Yes, papa. Merci, merci, merci. Welcome to Taratupa, Monsieur oh. Gérard. <laughs> merci. We, we are very 
Uh, uh, thankful and happy to be here. And now our Lieutenant Carpenter will escort you to intelligence where your assistance is going to be invaluable. Oh, yeah, I understand completely. If you will lead the way, uh, I'm at your service. Fine. After that, we'll try and find some suitable accommodations for you and your daughter. Wonderful. Goodbye. Goodbye. One empty meal. One empty Yvette, you must go. Okay. Bye. 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 Attention! Now hear this, Anson Hot Lips. You and this pack of wolves that you and Mikhail laughingly refer to as a crew come within a mile of that girl. I'll have you drawn and quartered. Do you read me? Uh, y yes, sir. Drawn and quartered. Positively, sir. Positively, Parker, the only thing that you can be positive of is that you will never be more than an Ensign. Getting a Jeep with a PT boat. <laughs> Everybody, that's right. Hey, hey, thanks, Willie. Christopher, Edwards, right. Tinkerbell, thank you. Fuji, a hometown paper, huh? Ah, oh, group smells like another cheesecake from your mother. Ah, uh, good old mom. Okay, you chowhounds. Groupers, gourmet shop is open for business again. Half a buck a slice, same as always. Uh, I do. Hey, I'm gonna be a father. Me, I'm gonna be a father. Well, read it. Quiet. Now listen. And the doctor said the baby should be here around the 15th of July. Of course, this miracle would have never happened if Commander McHale and that unbelievable crew of yours hadn't gotten us married before I was shipped stateside. So tell them all that they're going to be godfathers and the baby will be named after all of them. It will be Quentin, Charles, Lester, William, Harrison, Virgil, Happy, Fuji, Christopher! <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Parker. You're about to become a father. Yeah. I am? Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. I'm not even married. Christy's <laughs> wife is having the baby. She's naming it after the whole crew. All of us. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, it's kind of hard to believe. <laughs> Gonna be a Charles II. <laughs> yes, sir. That's true, sir. <laughs> hey, Christy, what hospital's Gloria going into, huh? Well, I don't know. Gloria's got out the best of everything. Private rooms, nurses, the whole shot. Not to mention the best doctors. And toys for little Fuji. Lots of toys. <laughs> oh, hey, now, wait a minute, fellas. Look, Gloria and I can't afford anything like that. I'm just an ordinary sailor. But this ain't no ordinary kid. Oh, no, not with nine fathers, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Get it up. It's up Everybody right. and no slugs, huh? Oh, now, hold it. You guys look at I appreciate what you're trying to do, but Gloria and I oh, can't Oh, wait a minute. Do I don't want to discuss this any further. I want that child to have everything I didn't have as a child. Yeah, you can say that again, Mr. Parker. How much we got there, Gru? Roughly... We got enough to keep the kid in talcum powder for two weeks. <laughs> Twelve bucks, 18 cents, and four yen? Best I can do. How about being paid, Raytree? <laughs> hey, look, fellas, I got an idea. Why don't we, why don't we have a floating crap game? Maybe we can run it up, Oh, huh? yeah, huh? yeah. But how do you know we're going to win? We oh, easy, he's all the dice. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Suppose we get caught. You want our kid to start off flight with a police record? Hey, I got it. We hold a raffle. Hey, hey that's, that's a good idea. idea. Hey, that's that's a good idea. <laughs> Raffle's a good idea. It's safe. And what do we got to lose? Our necks. Oh, no. Oh, you know how Bingham feels about any form of gambling. No, nope, that is out. Mr. Parker, you don't want that poor defenseless little tyke to be born on the charity ward. Naked, friendless, broke. <laughs> Parker, what kind of a father are you? Well, I just feel we should have discussed Good. that level. And it's all set. Right now, what are we going to raffle off? It's got to be something sensational. Something everyone in the base would really like. Now think, what would everyone like more than anything else in the world? That's it. Event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a bad prize. Now, we get it. Wait a minute, you bet. You can't raffle off a woman. Relax, relax, Mr. Parker. Everything would be on the up and up. Oh, I can see it all now. An evening in Paris. Sailor, how would you like a date with a beautiful mademoiselle? Dinner for two, candlelight, wine, dancing under the stars. That ought to be worth a buck a throw, huh? I'll spring for that. Hey, you got a buck? Oh, wait a minute. I'm sure if the skipper were here, he wouldn't approve of this kind of thing. But Yvette said she'd do anything to repay us, didn't she? Well, nonsense. You can't ask that young lady to do a thing like that. Yeah, Mr. Parker's right, guys. We can't ask Yvette to do something like this. Right. I'm glad you came to your senses. That's right, Mr. Parker. We can't. But you can. <laughs> I can. What do you mean? Remember, it's for Charles II. Yeah. <laughs> Well, 
Fancy Parker. What a surprise. Entrez? Yes. Oh. <laughs> kind of quaint. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I guess I better leg along or uh, run along. But, but you just arrived. Hmm? Oh, nice. Well, I'm sorry, but you see, this is all I have been able to borrow. Uh, does it fit to, um, how do you say, snug? Snug? Oh, no, no. Look. Well, can I do something for you, Mon uh, Well, uh, yes, there is. Uh, Monsieur Gerard. Mademoiselle Gerard. Oh, mercy. Uh, we were just wondering, how would you feel about a date with a sailor? Oh. Well, that depends on who this sailor is. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's just it. We don't know who it is yet. Uh, well, you see, maybe I better start at the beginning. You yeah, see, that's a good idea. Come on. Well, heck. <laughs> uh, well, you see, it all started with Charles II. Oh, he wants to date. No, no, he's too little for that sort of thing. Why? He's only that big. <laughs> well, I mean, he'll be that big when he's born. Baby. Well, I didn't know you were married. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not married. No, no, you see, Gloria's married. She's, she's married to Christy, see? But she's naming the baby after me. Oh? <laughs> well, she's naming it after the whole crew, because we're all responsible for them getting married. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, what is it you're trying to say? Well, well you see... Christy doesn't have the kind of money it takes to have a baby, so we're running a raffle. Oh, a raffle? To raise money for le petit enfant. I'll buy a ticket. <gasps> no, 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 you don't understand. <laughs> Why, I cannot buy a ticket. Well, well, it is for a good cause, no? And besides, maybe I'll win the prize. <laughs> well, she's a nice prize, yes? Oh, great. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Uh, you see, uh, well, the whole thing is... You're the prize. <laughs> what? I am the prize? Yes. Well, no, the, the thing is, the prize is, is a date with you. See, we'd have a big bowl, and the guys would... Oh. <laughs> You're right. The whole thing is ridiculous. Uh, I'll just go back and tell the guys that you said that... I'd do it. That you'd do it, and then we'd all... <laughs> you'd do it. Maybe. Yes, I tell the captain to explain Papa, and there is no... Oh, no, no, you can't tell the captain. Oh, no, boy, if he found out gambling. <laughs> the captain is like my Papa, yes? Very strict, no? Yeah. Okay, we do it, and we keep it a secret, no? Well, we'll, we'll do it and keep it a secret, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's taking Mr. Parker so long. I don't know. Oh, brother, look who's coming. Parker, out of there. Well, I guess I better be going now. All right. But remember, when this is all over, perhaps... Well, perhaps I can get a date with Charles I. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Oh, it's... Man! Condition red! Thank you, Mr. Gerard, are coming. Condition red! Oh, boy, that's about as red as you can get. Well... <laughs> I win. How do I collect? We lend you this. <laughs> 145 to the Seabees, another 100 from the 102nd Bombers. <laughs> 245 more.
more, Mr. Parker. 245. 185 bucks. And I just talked to Willie. He said the USS Georgia and two destroyers radioed in another 400. We oh, yeah! yeah! hear that, Mr. Parker? Did I? Gentlemen, congratulations. You've just paid for your son's college education. Hey! Wow, what a bankroll. You know, with the right trap game, we could probably send that kid off to a nice happy wedding and have a little leftover for the grandchildren. No, yeah! Mr. Parker! Oh, no, you don't. Because he's making out a money order and sending us right home. Oh, just a suggestion. I got a little lucky. Just a little idea, a little suggestion, that's all. Make room for the chef, Ruben! Bonjour, gentlemen. Tonight is the night. In a few short hours, some lucky Pierre will be done. you get out with the guys? your peasants. If I'd have had a little class, should adjust the blindfold, keep it on the level. Several play, will he? Thank you. Nothing? Nothing, huh? Here we go. Just hold it, Buster. <laughs> what is it, Sarge? Yeah. <laughs> we know all about you crooked slobs. Get out of there. Now, I'm going to pick the winning ticket, see? And the winner better collect. Or I personally will lead the whole Pacific fleet in a little landing right on your neck. Oh, wait a minute, Sergeant. Yeah? You don't mean to tell me that you're insinuating that our little raffle here has... Uh, All right, let's clear an area in here for the Sergeant. <laughs> the winning number is... 867. 867. Anybody here got it? Now hear this. Now hear this. The winning number is 867. That's 867. <laughs> well, who won it? It ain't me. <laughs> we don't have his name. It was in that batch we sold to the fleet. Well, one thing we can be sure of, whoever it is, he'll be here for his date at 8 o'clock tonight. Comes kamikaze or high water. Oh, he'd better be. And so had that bit of French pastry over there, too. Or else. It's a quarter eight already. We better snap it up. Yeah, the faster we get this over with, the better. Here we go. On aboard, Mademoiselle, for an evening in Paris. Um, well, uh, I'm sorry, boys, but I, I cannot go with you. Good enough. You just hurry up and you get it. What do you mean you can't go? You gotta go. Well, I try to reach you all afternoon, but Papa is gone away and, and the captain is coming to take me to dinner. Captain Binghamton? He didn't even buy a ticket. Oh, you bet you've got to come along with us. If you don't show up, whoever won that raffle is going to tear that out on the part and us with it. With a small yeah. assist from the Pacific Fleet. I gotta go. See, the captain is going to tell Papa, and then I'm, I'm in... Mr. Gerard, it's me. It's Captain Wally Binghamton. Go with me. Tell him to go away. Tell him to get a headache. <laughs> Mr. Gerard, are you in there? Oh, we, oui, Captain. But you see, I'm terribly sorry. I... I have a terrible headache. I'm afraid I cannot go with you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that's too bad. I, uh, could I get you something for it? It might make you feel better. Uh, uh, no. You see, I've already taken some medicine, but... Uh, well, thank you anyway. Well, um... I, I hope you feel better. Good night. Good night. Safe at first. Hey, it's ten to eight. We better run for it. Yeah, well, let's make sure he's gone first. Now what do we do? Boy, why does Skipper have to be a waiter time like this? Well, in the old days of Audible, there was always a way out. Hey. Oh, no. Guard detail. <laughs> oh, that thing will getting sneakier every day. Maybe he's gone by now. Check it. He's trying to date the nurse. The way that Binghamton operates, it'll take him a week. Holy cow, it's five to eight. Well, we're trapped. There's only one thing to do. We gotta disguise your bet some way or sneak up past the captain. Hey, maybe I could borrow a uniform from one of the nurses. No, that wouldn't disguise uh, <clears throat> everything we've got to disguise. Maybe you could get to one of our uniforms. Hey, good idea, Tink. After all, this is a hospital. We could sneak her right past the captain and he'd never even look up. Now, wait a minute. If three people walk by him in Navy uniforms, that means that somebody's gotta stay in here and there's a... <clears throat> you know what? 
You're just the right size. Oh, now, hold on, you guys. No, no. I'm just ready to only chance, Monensine. Let's go. Time's running out. Remember, it's for Charles II. Nope. I'll be in my dressing room. <laughs> voilà, I'm ready. How do I look? Great. You're my kind of ensign. <laughs> Mr. Parker, you'll be perfectly safe here. Just lock the door. Let's go. Well, I'll hurry back with my uniform. <laughs> Sir Vincent Krause Meyer will take care of the detail first thing in the morning, sir. <laughs> well, it's 8 o'clock. I'm off duty. Captain, I think I'll take you up on that dinner invitation. Oh, that's fine. Why don't we get started now? Oh, um, I'd like to freshen up a little. I tell you what. What? I'll ask Yvette if I can borrow some lipstick. I'll only be a minute. <laughs> Yvette, this is Helen. Can I borrow a lipstick? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what's the matter, my dear? The door seems to be jammed. Oh, well, let me help it. Look, that is jammed, isn't it? Yvette, there's something the matter with your door. Uh, Yvette, are you in there? Answer us. Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, mon captain. Are you all right, my dear? Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, I'm fine. Press bone. Well, how is your headache? It seems to have gone to your throat. <laughs> My headache? <laughs> My headache? Oh, it's better. Go away. Go away? There's something strange going on in there. Captain. <laughs> well, I told you it was on the level, Sarge, huh? Here he comes now, the lucky stiff. Welcome, welcome, winner. Welcome to an evening in Paris. Greetings, losers, and welcome to six months at hard labor. Well, now, please, Captain, let me explain. There are no explanations necessary, Miss Gerard. These men have violated every rule in the book. No, no, no. I intend to throw that book at them. Disobedience of orders, off limits in the nurses' quarters, improper uniform, kidnapping. Well, now, Captain, I'm sure. Freeze, Ensign! Pull up your blanket. Look, my dear. This is the most outrageous thing I've ever lived through. Raffling off a. Oh. That must be your winner now. Well, whoever he is, he's just in time to go to the brig with the rest of you. All right, stand over there. You're under arrest. You... Admiral Reynolds, you're under arrest? And what are you talking about, Binghamton? Uh, well, I told you, the men are having a raffle. You're telling me there's been a raffle? And who do you think's got 867? <laughs> it's the Admiral. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, my dear. You must be Yvette. I'm Roscoe G. Reynolds. Boy, we sure went through heck, but it was worth it for our son. <laughs> yeah, well, all I can say is it's a good thing that Admiral Reynolds had the winning ticket and that he thought it was for a good cause. Otherwise, boys, we'd all be celebrating Father's Day in the brig. Oh, well, say that again. Oh, no! What's the matter? What's, What's the matter? matter? We're shaking, boys. What's, What's wrong? He's not a him. He's a she. <laughs> it's a baby girl. Oh, oh, it kills no, every girl. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Uh, oh, so if it's all right with you and the crew, I'm naming her Quintina, Charlene, Leslie, Wilhelmina, Harriet, Virginia, Hetty, Fujiana. <laughs> hey, I kind of like that. Charlene the second. <laughs> no, no, she's got cute dimples. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs>
civilians. You can come up now. It's safe. Ah, Tardo. We're out of range. Tardo. Monsieur, my daughter and I, we owe you and your men a great debt of gratitude. You saved us from the Japanese in the neck of time. Oh, well, it was all in the nick of duty. <laughs> you know how it is, Monsieur Gerard. Say es la guerre. <laughs> but, <clears throat> that's French. <laughs> All right, man, let's pick up this brass. Do not minimize your efforts, mon capitaine. <laughs> it was a, a very brave thing you did. Wow. Oh, I do not know what I can ever do to thank all of you. Oh, I will think of something, honey. You know, I was... Oh, no, 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 please, gentlemen. Well, we, uh, all right, man, let's uh, get back to our station. All right, man, let's go. Boat now, sir. Yeah. Intelligence will want to interrogate Monsieur Gerard and his daughter right away. All right, man. Stand by to put her in the Caratuba. Let's get her ship shape. Let's, uh. Let's look sharp, man. <laughs> Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, sir. So young and, and so much responsibility. Well, I'm very impressed, Mon Capitaine. Uh, Oh, Nansen. <laughs> All right, sailor, uh, I'll take her in. Mr. Parker, you don't know how. <laughs> I uh, always make it a practice of bringing in my own boat. I, I don't trust anybody with my baby. <laughs> Mr. Parker, that's too much throttle. Look out! <laughs> started now. Oh, uh, I'd like to freshen up a little. Tell you what. What? I'll ask Yvette if I can borrow some lipstick. I'll only be a minute. <laughs> Yvette, this is Helen. Can I borrow a lipstick? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what's the matter, my dear? The door seems to be jammed. Oh, well, let me help it. Work, that is jammed, isn't it? Yvette, there's something the matter with your door. Uh, Yvette, are you in there? Answer us. Oh, wee wee, mon captain. Are you all right, my dear? Oh, wee wee, I'm fine. Press bone. Well, how is your headache? It seems to have gone to your throat. <laughs> my headache? <laughs> my headache. Oh, it's better. Go away. Go away? Something strange going on in there. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> well, I told you it was on the level, Sarge, huh? Here he comes now, the lucky stiff. Welcome, welcome, winner. Welcome to an evening in Paris. Greetings, losers, and welcome to six months at hard labor. Well, please, Captain, let me explain. There are no explanations necessary, Miss Gerard. These men have violated every rule in the book. No, no, no. I intend to throw that book at them. Disobedience of orders, off limits in the nurses' quarters, improper uniform, kidnapping. Well, well, now, Captain, I'm sure. Freeze, Ensign! Pull up your blanket. Look, my dear. This is the most outrageous thing I've ever lived through. Raffling off a. Oh. That must be your winner now. Well, whoever he is, he's just in time to go to the brig with the rest of you. All right, stand over there. You're under arrest. You. 
Had him arrest. He's going to arrest? And what are you talking about, Binghamton? Uh, well, I told you, I demand I know having a raffle. You're uh, telling me there's been a raffle? And who do you think's got 867? <laughs> Sorry I'm late, my dear. You must be Yvette. I'm Roscoe G. Reynolds. Boy, we sure went through heck. There's always a way out. Hey. Oh, no. Guard detail. <laughs> Binghamton's getting sneakier every day. Baby's gone by now. Check it. <laughs> now he's trying to take the nurse. The way that Binghamton operates, it'll take him a week. Holy cow, it's five to eight. Well, we're trapped. There's only one thing to do. We gotta disguise Yvette some way and sneak her past the captain. Hey, maybe I could borrow a uniform from one of the nurses. No, that wouldn't disguise up <clears throat> everything we've got to disguise. Maybe Yvette could get into one of our uniforms. Hey, good idea, Tink. After all, this is a hospital. We could sneak her right past the captain and he'd never even look up. Now, wait a minute. If three people walk by him in Navy uniforms, that means that somebody's gotta stay in here and there's a... <clears throat> you know what? You're just the right size. Oh, now, hold on, you guys. No, no. I'm afraid it's our only chance, Monensi. Let's go. Time's running out. Remember, it's for Charles II. Nope. I'll be in my dressing room. <laughs> well, uh, I'm ready. How do I look? Great. You're my kind of ensign. <laughs> Mr. Parker, you'll be perfectly safe here. Just lock the door. Let's go. Well, I'll hurry back with my uniform. <laughs> Sir Vincent Krausmeyer will take care of the detail first thing in the morning, sir. Well, it's 8 o'clock. I'm off duty. Captain, I think I'll take you up on that dinner invitation. Oh, that's fine. Why don't we get started now? Oh, um, I'd like to freshen up a little. I tell you what. What? I'll ask Yvette if I can borrow some lipstick. I'll only be a minute. <laughs> Yvette, this is Helen. Can I borrow a lipstick? That's funny. Uh, what's the matter, my dear? The door seems to be jammed. Oh, well, let me help it. Look, that is jammed, isn't it? Yvette, there's something the matter with your door. Uh, Yvette, are you in there? Answer us. Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, moan, Captain. Are you all right, my dear? Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, I'm fine. Press bone. Well, how is your headache? It seems to have gone to your throat. <laughs> My headache? <laughs> My headache? Oh, it's better. Go away. Go away? There's something strange going on in there. Board, Captain. Holy cow, it's five to eight. Well, we're trapped. There's only one thing to do. We gotta disguise Yvette some way and sneak her past the captain. Hey, maybe I could borrow a uniform from one of the nurses. No, that wouldn't disguise up <clears throat> everything we've got to disguise. Maybe Yvette could get into one of our uniforms. Hey, good idea, Tink. After all, this is a hospital. We could sneak her right past the captain and he'd never even look up. Now, wait a minute. If three people walk by him in Navy uniforms, that means that somebody's gotta stay in here and there's a... <clears throat> You know what? You're just the right size. Oh, now, hold on, you guys. No, no. I'm it's our only chance, Monensi. Let's go. Time's running out. Remember, it's for Charles II. Nope. I'll be in my dressing room. <laughs> well, uh, I'm ready. How do I look? Great. You're my kind of ensign. <laughs> Mr. Parker, you'll be perfectly safe here. Just lock the door. Let's go. Well, I'll hurry back with my uniform. <laughs> Sir Vincent Krausmeyer will take care of the detail first thing in the morning, sir. <laughs> well, it's 8 o'clock. I'm off duty. 
Captain, I think I'll take you up on that dinner invitation. Oh, that's fine. Why don't we get started now? Oh, um, I'd like to freshen up a little. Tell you what. What? I'll ask Yvette if I can borrow some lipstick. I'll only be a minute. <laughs> Yvette, this is Helen. Can I borrow a lipstick? <laughs> Uh, what's the matter, my dear? The door seems to be jammed. Oh, well, let me help you. Well, that is jammed, isn't it? Yvette, there's something the matter with your door. Uh, Yvette, are you in there? Answer us. Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, mon captain. Are you all right, my dear? Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, I'm fine. Press bones. Well, how is your headache? It seems to have gone to your throat. My headache? <laughs> My headache? Oh, it's better. Go away. Go away? There's something strange going on in there. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> Well, I told you it was on the level, Sarge, huh? Here he comes now, the lucky stiff. Welcome, welcome, winner. Welcome to an evening in Paris. Greetings, losers, and welcome to six months at hard labor. There are no explanations necessary. It ain't me. We don't have his name. It was in that batch we sold to the fleet. Well, one thing we can be sure of, whoever it is who'll be here for his date at 8 o'clock tonight comes kamikaze or high water. Oh, he'd better be. And so had that bit of French pastry over there, too. Or else. It's a quarter eight already. We better snap it up. Yeah, the faster we get this over with, the better. Here we go. On aboard, Mademoiselle, for an evening in Paris. Um, well, uh, I'm sorry, boys, but I, I cannot go with you. Good enough. You just hurry up and you get it. What do you mean you can't go? You gotta go. Well, I try to reach you all afternoon, but Papa is gone away and, and the captain is coming to take me to dinner. Captain Binghamton? He didn't even buy a ticket. Oh, bet you gotta come along with us. If you don't show up, whoever won that raffle is gonna tear it out on the part and us with it. With a small yeah. assist from the Pacific Fleet. I got it, but you see, the captain is going to tell Papa, and then I'm, I'm in... Mr. Gerard, it's me. It's Captain Wally Binghamton. Go with me. Tell him to go away. Tell him to get a headache. <laughs> Mr. Gerard, are you in there? Oh, uh, we, oui, Captain. But you see, I'm terribly sorry. I, I have a, a terrible headache. I'm afraid I cannot go with you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that's too bad. I, could I get you something for it? It might make you feel better. Uh, no. You see, I've already taken some medicine, but... Well, thank you anyway. Well, um... I, I hope you feel better. Good night. Good night. Safe at first. Hey, it's ten to eight. We better run for it. Yeah, well, let's make sure he's gone first. Now what do we do? Boy, why does Skipper have to be away at a time like this? Well, in the old days of Audible, there was always a way out. Hey. Oh, no. Guard detail. <laughs> oh, that thing is getting sneakier every day. Maybe he's gone by now. Check it. He's trying to take the nurse. The way that Binghamton operates, it'll take him a week. Oh, it's five to eight. Well, we're trapped. There's only one thing to do. We gotta disguise Yvette some way and sneak her past the captain. Hey, maybe I could borrow a uniform from one of the nurses. No, that wouldn't disguise up <clears throat> everything we've got to disguise. Maybe Yvette could get into one of our uniforms. Hey, good idea, Tink. After all, this is a hospital. We could sneak her right past the captain, and he'd never even look up. Now, wait a minute. If three people walk by him in Navy uniforms, that means that somebody's gotta stay in here and there's a... <clears throat> You know what? You're just the right size. Oh, now, hold on, you guys. No, no. I'm afraid it's our only chance, Monensine. Let's go. Time's running out. Remember, it's for Charles II. Nope. <laughs> yeah, but suppose I win. How do I collect? We lend you this. <laughs>
Seabees, another hundred from the hundred and second barbers. <laughs> 245 more, Mr. Parker. 245. 185 bucks. And I just talked to Willie. He said the USS Georgia and two destroyers radioed in another 400. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that, Mr. Parker? Did I? Gentlemen, congratulations. You've just paid for your son's college education. <laughs> wow, what a bankroll. You know, with the right crap game, we could probably send that kid off to a nice happy wedding and have a little leftover for the grandchildren. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Parker. Oh, no, you don't. Because he's making out a money order and sending us right home. Oh, just a suggestion. Yeah, I thought a little lucky. Just a little idea. A little suggestion. That's all. Make room for Monsieur Gruber. Bonjour, gentlemen. Tonight is the night. In a few short hours, some lucky Pierre will be done. Come on, get out with the joy. All right. All right, you peasants. Try to add a little class. Adjust the blindfold. Keep it on the level. Save a play, will he? Thank you. Nothing. Nothing, huh? Here we go. Just hold it, Buster. <laughs> what is it, Sarge? Yeah. <laughs> we know all about you crooked slobs. Get out of there. Now, I'm going to pick the winning ticket, see? And the winner better collect, or I personally will lead the whole Pacific fleet in a little landing right on your neck. Oh, wait a minute, Sergeant. Yeah? You don't mean to tell me that you're insinuating that our little raffle here had... Uh... All right, let's clear an area in here with Sergeant. <laughs> the winning number is... 867. 867. Oh. Anybody here got it? Oh, no. Now hear this. Now hear this. The winning number is 867. That's 867. Well, who won it? It ain't me. We don't have his name. It was in that batch we sold to the fleet. Well, one thing we can be sure of, whoever it is, he'll be here for his date at 8 o'clock tonight. Comes kamikaze or high water. Oh, he'd better be. And so had that bit of French pastry over there, too. Or else. <laughs>